SOS Care is a provider of many services for families um, and people living with autism and intellectual disabilities. So our goal is really to fill in the gaps for everything in the lifespan that's needed for someone um, to be as independent as they can be in the community. SOS has inspired me to become independent and to be more mature. It has helped me to find a way to get a job and to practice independent living. And it has also helped me with new experiences. Like, like since I've moved here, I didn't know anybody. But when I started doing SOS care, I made a lot of new friends and started doing new things. Uh, SOS has helped me become more independent because, you, you know, they had therapists come to my house after school that would help me do my homework. Uh, they would help me calm myself down and I'd get frustrated or upset. That has been a challenge. I couldn't eat anything. I couldn't talk. Didn't like to be outside. Didn't like loud noises. I'm proud to say that I've achieved so much over the years. We have been with SOS for a little over a year now, and I wish we had found them five years ago. Xander is, and I think every parent would say this, Xander is a great child, but he struggles with things that most people wouldn't think would be a struggle. SOS helped him find his voice where he could communicate or he could use gestures that weren't physically hurting to people. Um, they empowered him to let him know he has a choice, he has a voice, he can use it. For people who don't know, the state of South Carolina is not an easy state to have a special needs child in. And SOS came along and I get emotional because they changed our life. They gave us an outlet for Xander to grow and become who he's gonna become. The, the amount of time that people spend um, with all the challenges and obstacles and, and they need someone to, to just to talk to, to guide them through any process, any challenge that they're having. Um, we're there to, to answer that call and, and help you and, and help your family and, and, and really make a positive impact uh, for, for, for anyone who, who's in a need of assistance. Uh, my mom had, had been reaching out and in and, and contact with Sarah Pope, um, asking about services and, and help um, for me. Uh, I, on the autism spectrum, um, they, they were also helping me find maybe a volunteer or job opportunity. Um, eventually, uh, they, they found a, a volunteer position at Habitat Restore. Went back to school um, for to tech for my um, computer technology degree. So the fact now that, that I've, I've been able to actually um, progress to, to the point where I, I can really start getting more comfortable being in crowds and being around other people and talking um, to people and, and some public speaking and being on camera. Um, it, it, she, my mom is so, so proud. My family is so proud of, of where I am and what I'm doing. And it, it's, I'm just keep looking to the future and, and, and looking to all the best things still to come.